I apologize for inconveniencing my learning community. Asher ran through the standard apology phrase rapidly, still catching his breath. The instructor and class waited patiently for his explanation. The students had all been grinning because they had listened to Asher's explanations so many times before. I left home at the correct time, but when I was riding along near the hatchery, the crew was separating some salmon. I guess I just got distraught watching them. I apologize to my classmates, Asher concluded. He smoothed his rumpled tunic and sat down. We accept your apology, Asher, the class recited, the standard response in unison. Many of the students were biting their lips to keep from laughing. I accept your apology, Asher, the instructor said. He was smiling. And I thank you, because once again you have provided an opportunity for a lesson in language. Distraught is too strong an adjective to describe salmon viewing. He turned and wrote distraught on the instructional board. Beside it, he wrote distracted. Jonas near... Nearing his home now, smiled at the recollection, thinking still as he wheeled his bike into its narrow port beside the door. He realized that frightened was the wrong word to describe his feelings now that December was almost here. It was too strong an adjective. He had waited a long time for this special December. Now that it was almost upon him, he wasn't frightened, but he was eager he decided. He was eager for it to come, and he was excited, certainly. All of the Elevens were excited about the event that would be coming so soon, but there was a little shudder of nervousness when he thought about it, about what might happen. Apprehensive, Jonas decided. That's what I am. Who wants to be the first tonight for feelings? Jonas's father asked at the conclusion of their evening meal. It was one of the rituals, the evening telling of feelings. Sometimes Jonas and his sister, Lily, argued over turns, over who would get to go first. Their parents, of course, were part of the ritual. They, too, told their feelings each evening. But like all parents, all adults, they didn't fight and wheedle for their turn. Nor did Jonas tonight. His feelings were too complicated this evening. He wanted to share them, but he wasn't eager to begin the process of sifting through his own complicated emotions, even with the help that he knew his parents could give. You go, Lily, he said, seeing his sister, who was much younger, only a seven, wiggling with impatience in her chair. I felt very angry this afternoon, Lily announced. My child care group was at the play area, and we had a visiting group of sevens, and they didn't obey the rules at all. One of them, a male, I don't know his name, kept going right to the front of the line for the slide, even though the rest of us were all waiting. I felt so angry at him. I made my hand into a fist like this. She held up a clenched fist, and the rest of the family smiled at her small, defiant gesture. Why do you think the visitors didn't obey the rules? Mother asked. Lily considered and shook her head. I don't know. They acted like... Like animals, Jonas suggested. He laughed. That's right, Lily said, laughing too. Like animals. Neither child knew what the word meant exactly, but it was often used to describe someone uneducated or clumsy, someone who didn't fit in. Where were the visitors from? Father asked. Lily frowned, trying to remember. Our leader told us when he made the welcome speech, but I can't remember. I guess I wasn't paying attention. It was from another community. They had to leave very early, and they had their midday meal on the bus. Mother nodded. Do you think it's possible that their rules may be different, and so they simply didn't know what your play area rules were? Lily nodded, shrugged, and nodded. I suppose. You've visited other communities, haven't you? Jonas asked. My group has often. Lily nodded again. When we were sixes, we went and shared a whole school day with a group of sixes in their community. How did you feel when you were there? Lily frowned. I felt strange because their methods were different. They were learning usages that my group hadn't learned yet, so we felt stupid. Father was listening with interest. I'm thinking, Lily, he said, about the boy who didn't obey the rules today. Do you think it's possible that he felt strange and stupid being in a new place with rules that he didn't know about? Lily pondered that. Yes, she said, finally. I feel a little sorry for him, Jonas said, even though I don't even know him. I feel sorry for anyone who was in a place where he feels strange and stupid. How do you feel now, Lily? Father asked. Still angry? I guess not, Lily decided. I guess I feel a little sorry for him, and sorry I made a fist, she grinned. Jonas smiled back at his sister. Lily's feelings were always straightforward, fairly simple, and usually easy to resolve. 